Hello my friends, today we will once again face off against Ephileo, but with a different outcome this time. As a reward we will get the best skill of every Metroidvania game. Please enjoy the video and leave a like to support the channel. Welcome back to Blasphemous 2. In the last part we went for an exploration session and we actually found the way to a new boss fight that we are facing right now. Um, I would um, lawfully name him Geppetto the Puppet Maker <laughs> because he just looks like he is one. But let's uh, go for it. Um, our general strategy is to use the blood attack and uh, Ruego Al Alba because it seems to be the best damage per second for us right now. Oh crap. Oh we totally blocked his damage. Even though it's wave <laughs> damage. Yeah, I've increased the parry time. Okay, I shouldn't get cocky. <laughs> we should still try to dodge stuff instead of just blocking it. Oh, yeah. I have to concentrate for the fight. <laughs> that was a very bad start. Because he will go in overdrive mode at the end. And this is the actual critical part where we need most of our HP for. Ching, ching. Okay, this is fine. He should go into the charge mode soonish. Oh, not this one. <laughs> okay, we didn't. Get, he did not break our guard. That's good. Let's go for some distance. He will not let us get distance. It always looks like. <laughs> okay, it always looks like he stops his Beyblade attack, but then he will just. Go with the double speed in our face. Um, if this does not work out, we will go back to the base at some point. Refill our mana bar and um, change up some of the figurines. Okay, we got him. Go back behind him. Block. Oh, shoot. But this does not deal damage. Even though our guard breaks, he will not deal damage to us. Ow. We definitely shouldn't get hit by... Oh, the first time he hit us from behind. He can hit us from behind when we use the up strike. That's very bad. Ching, ching, ching. Oh, it was a triple hit. We never had this before. Seems like when it turns... As you can see, if we don't jump, we won't get hit by this attack. <laughs> yeah, we got him in a loop. And he jumps. Now he prepares his weapon. We have some time to damage him here. And now we have to be careful. Okay, don't jump. We learned something again. Oh, shoot. But that's totally fine. Unless he keeps it for as long as he needs. <laughs> yep, don't get hit by this attack. Some free damage. Okay, we got him in a loop again. <laughs> okay, he's in the last quarter of his HP, I think. He should soonish go into the overdrive mode. Ouch. Yeah, now he's in overdrive mode. We have to be super careful now. And dodge as often as he wants to. Okay, dodge it. He runs up to us. We can get some free damage in. Charge through him. Don't get greedy. This is what I meant by don't get greedy. And blood attack. Okay. One more hit. Okay. I got greedy there, but <laughs> we finally beat him. Geppetto is dead. Defeat the Sentinel of the Emery. 
Oh, we get two marks of martyrdom. Yeah, I must say, this boss fight was quite a bit harder than the other ones. We had to learn his pattern for real. Oh, a different vision. Maybe we have to fill up the five crows or something. Who are you? Dark and uncertain are the rooms where the miracle allows us to see and talk to one another. Even after the deaths, even after the dreams. Penitent one, we are in the chapel of the five doves. And before you prevails the narrative voice of the witness. All that remains of me is testimony. For my deceased body lies exposed in its urn of crystal and gold. This was the dude that um, was on the big picture when we got the talk about the deformation plague. I remember him because he has the wing stuck out of his chest. Return from the long dream to avoid the birth. You will have need of the uncorrupted tongue that my mortal remains still harbor. Whose forbidden whispers will guide thee on the path to such an undertaking. Release the five doves, and thus the urn containing my body shall be opened. Wake up now from this dream. Okay, those aren't raven. Ravens, those are doth. <laughs> really hard word, doth. Doofus. Okay, let's heal up real fast. I don't want to die straight away. We have a permanent penalty on our bar again. So we will have to get back to the base at some point. I don't know if it's supposed to happen, but we had it twice now. Both times at the start of the boss fight when I recollected our... Yeah, our body. Oh, I think we will get the high jump ability. Please. Or double jump would be better. <laughs> Passage of Ash. With this ability, the Pennington one can now perform a mid-air jump. yoo -hoo. Oh, I love it when you get it, the double jump in the game. <laughs> now we can backtrack everywhere again. Okay, we still have to find... The way, um, well, we still have to find the upgrade for the golden bubbles that are flying around. But this will open up the world quite a bit. All the things we couldn't get in the last part um, were related to double jumps. Uh, we don't have mana. I need an enemy. Please, bring me an enemy. I will not leave the baby here. Oh. We have not mastered the double jump. <laughs> we have failed you, game. And I really like it when you can just delay it as much as you want. I think it's a really good way of implementing the double jump. Okay, we need to go down. There's... Mm, let's head over to the room first. Maybe there are some enemies in there. Yes. The fire one. Ah, oh, oh, holy macaronis. 140 damage. He nearly one shot us. Oh, we yeah, we can't dash through them. <laughs> we already tried. <laughs> ching, ching, ching. I don't like to use the bar at the moment. That will... Huh. Yeah, this is a way to go for it. Uh, from Ruego Al Alba because it will damage ourselves <laughs> and that's never good. Maybe when we get more upgrades and the damage increases significantly. Ching. Oh, we have to... yeah. <laughs> I saw it too late. Ah, we have to double change the weapon. <laughs> it's not easy to get it so fast, even with the delay. Oh man. Can we just press the pause button? 
and change the weapon. Oh. Oh, we can change the order. Okay, we need it like this. Okay, now it's easier. Ah. Ooh. We will get upgrades for our weapons. Oh, now we can skill the next row. Probably. <laughs> yes, okay. This is how it works. Our character will not be upgraded in general. We will find upgrades for the weapon paths. Let's have a look. This is the blood bar thing. Yes, increased base defense. Always good. Hits during blood pack. Regenerate the penitents once. Now we can regenerate health. Ah, a devastating slash, press XXXX, adds powerful downward slash with enhanced stun damage. Okay, this one is really um, close to the original weapon, to the um, mea culpa from the first game. I want this one. This will actually be a game changer for this weapon and its viability for me <laughs> in my eyes. Now I have a reason to damage myself when I can regenerate it and even, or maybe even get more out of it than we had to spend. But, oopsie, we have to go back down here and get the chest out. <laughs> well, get the thingy here, the soul. Oh, it's a mark of martyrdom. Okay, that's awesome. That's a big reward for just going down here again. We don't want to teleport right now. Do we have to get... Yeah, we have to get back up here to get over there. So let's go for the whole merry-go-round again. I want the baby. We will not leave without the baby. I don't know why I have this jingle in my head all the time when I play this game. <laughs> it's from a kids horror show, a cartoon. <laughs> I don't even know it, whether it was international or not. But for the German viewers, it was called Geschichten aus der Gruft. <laughs> Maybe you know it. I watched it a lot as a kid. When it was on, on TV. During the times where you were actually watching TV and not... or well, the internet wasn't even widely available for everyone. Or at least not fast enough. And YouTube wasn't existent. <laughs> it was a different time. Well, Okay, weird flex. Okay, this is the speaking stuff. We will just run straight up over here. Ching, ching, ching. Nope, don't grab onto this one. Now we can do stuff like this. I love delayed double jumps. We can just drop down and jump at any point we want. Okay, let's see. Can we fill up our bar? Nah, the man uh, enemies are too weak. It's full, but we cannot use it. <laughs> oh, now we can use it. Okay, we lost a lot of HP. Okay, he's totally confused. Yeah, this will be a game changer, especially for boss fights. We regenerated so much with the combo. Oh yeah, 2,000 tears. Mm, we should head up there. We are not allowed. I want the... The combo finisher attack with the weapon. As the next skill point. I think um, they did a really great job with the Benedicto. And the um, distincting, distinguishing it from the other two. But I feel like the other two are very similar to each other. The one just attacks a bit faster. <laughs> but it feels very close. I don't know. whether Maybe they will change up when we skill some more into them. 
Okay, I've marked something here. Oh, we just did not remove the markets, looks like. It must have been the one on top here. And we can reach it like this now. Okay, any reason to go somewhere else? Um, the mother of mothers. We could check out those two chests over there. We have to walk all the way around. We could also just go back to the city and teleport. Hmm. How long will this take? Let's just go for it. Oh, there's a baby. Baby, we will save you. Uh, spells are over. I should remember which <laughs> the books are the spells. Oh, wrong one. Hey, baby. Oh, we will get hit. Ouch. I want to see... Did you see that dodge? Uh, sponsored by double jumping. Oh, and this one as well. <laughs> yeah, the, the atonement points just um, vanish so fast from the screen. It's really hard to see how much one enemy gives. When you just kill it, you have to immediately look up. Wait a second. This was the secret wall, wasn't it? Did I unlock her and didn't talk to her? <laughs> or did I find her before we knew what those girls were about and so the story trigger wasn't active? But luckily we went this path. I would have never ever found her. Okay, let's go over here. Ouch. Yeah, we've just marked this in general because I thought maybe there's something that will come here. Ching, ching, ching. Let's replenish. Easy. Oh. <laughs> Easy jump. Maybe next time. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, this is uh, related to the pest. The pesky little. No, I will not fight you. You are way too dangerous. Ching, fire attack. This one gives 126, okay. Yeah, we will be able to reach that up there. At least we can get rid of one more. And we should be able to collect some stuff at this place. The Profound Lamento. A Mark of Martyrdom. This is my favorite kind of thing we can find. Except for weapon upgrades. Okay, I want to go over here. Mm, yes, I think we have to do more exploration anyway. Well, I don't think. I know we have to do it. Ching, ching, ching. Speed attacks. I was way too scared of them. We can just dodge through them all the time. 184. That's not worth it. Ching. And those will give 104. Okay. Can we maybe reach it with a small boost? Oh, this looks like we can. Let's reset the health of the enemy. Oh, he will move up when he attacks us. We have to trigger the attack. <laughs> no, it's... This will be hard. No! Oops. <laughs> I sometimes don't look at the HP bar. Uh, where are we? Okay, we are right next to it. Yeah, we have been here. Okay, let's get rid of this one. Yeah, I wanted to counter. Okay, let's heal up. <laughs> I don't... Yeah, we will not cheese it. We will leave it for now. I don't want to waste too much time. 
Okay, let's head just over to the right and go for some more chests. Or orbs that are lying around. I really like to find creative ways to go for obstacles that the developers put in your way and to solve it just differently. For example, with the little up boost from our weapon, but it's just so tiny, it does not help. Okay, this could still be out of range. Get out of my way. No. Uh, we made it. Three marks of martyrdom. I don't know. The music just stops. Can we put a audio loop on or something? No, it's on. Not you. You. Okay, we can go for the... Extra strike. We could also unlock this stuff. Increase base defense. I want to have the extra strike. Create a wave. Okay, the plunge attack will be better. Oh, can we just plunge from... No, it doesn't look like this is an advanced plunge. We remove this one. Yeah, we are maybe able to traverse this area further. Let's have a look at the other chest over there before we leave. I should try to remember better. <laughs> but it's not too easy to remember this stuff and talk at the same time. Block it. Okay, he is unblockable. No, the electricity ones are the worst. We have to actually dodge through that. Mm, yes, we are on the right path. We don't need the platforms anymore. Ching, ching, ching. Nope. Don't want to fight any of you guys. Ugh. Yeah, we have to perfectly space it. <laughs> Just a few more tries. This was the place where we got the wall cling and um, the floor just broke away. At the place where we just were. Ching, 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 ching. Okay, this could take a few tries. So, relax. Sit back, guys. Oh, I don't know if we are able to make it. Maybe take a sip of coffee or a drink, take a bite of your food, whatever you're doing right now. <laughs> Just enjoy the show and have a good time. I must say I'm really enjoying my projects and stuff we do. Even though I have a very tiny community and it's very hard. Yeah, okay, you can't do it. This was actually with airtime. Not possible right now. Okay, we remember. Profundo Lamento, this thing needs increased jumping distance. Wait a second. No, don't. I have an idea. <laughs> Maybe if we turn around. I will not kill him, because I will need him to refill my mana bar. Yeah, like this, maybe... Oh. I don't know if we have enough mana. No, we don't. <laughs> we do. But the animation is broken, for whatever reason. Let's go for it. <laughs> no, the jump was bad. But we made it! Holy... Crap! <laughs> okay, I'm very proud of this one. This is what I meant by I, I really like to exploit stuff the game gives you to make jumps the developers maybe didn't intend you to, or this could be the way uh, the developers intended to. 
We could get the chest. Uh, did I remove the marker? Or was it this one? No, it was this one. Uh, where am I? We could get this chest here. Okay, guys, I wanna, I wanna see if it works. <laughs> I will make a short cut for you, so we don't waste too much time just because I wanna try stuff. And um, yeah, see you in a second. Okay, we are there. Let's see. I shouldn't waste my mana. <laughs> okay, get rid of this dude first. So let's see. Maybe, maybe. We will not get hide. I did not see this. We will only get a bit of distance. <laughs> so luckily I did not waste your time with it. Only mine. Stop moving. Get out of my way. I did not waste anybody's time. <laughs> we did make it. <laughs> this feels so good. We got some marks of martyrdom for free. And it looks a bit cleaner right now. We did some good progress this time. Around. I think those were also related to high jumps and those platforms. We are missing something here. This could also be a high jump. We can't get up there. This was related to the babies. This should be gettable. I think we will have to do some backtracking. Yeah, we, we have to anyway, because the game wants us to. Ouch. Ouch. Could you just leave me alone? I don't want to fight you. I don't even have to walk. <laughs> the game gave us a teleportation system, but... A short walk is never bad. Okay, okay. We have a tiny bit of time, so let's go to the sacred entombments and see if we can get one of the chests here. Get off me. Yeah, we should be able to get this one. Where is the bell? It's over here, okay. Ching. Okay, don't be too fast. Yeah, maybe not of the reason... Oh, forgotten tribute. We got... Is this one of the other coins? A coin that was used for many years as payment for the procession that traversed the roads at night time. These processions gradually died out. So finding a coin like this is a rare. Okay, we have another coin. I don't know why this brings us over here, but... If the game wants us to... So we have to go back to the horsemen maybe, or to a different version of the horsemen, or the horse carriers. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a baby. Uh, I need some mana. Ching, ching, ching. Yeah, this gives very little. This gives the most. Yeah, I think the dual blades are the worst weapon. Right now. Ching. Oh, I didn't have to use it. <laughs> we were in range. Okay, let's go for the one on the left side there. Real fast. I am in a Metroidvania fever. I must say this game is a lot of fun to me. The gameplay loop is pretty good. The combat is engaging. The design is a uh, very... Uh, <laughs> Has a lot of variety. And I feel like it's just an overall improvement. Especially with the quality of life features from the first game. Maybe you guys can um, tell me your opinion in the comments. I would be very interested to see if you think the same. Or if you had a different experience maybe playing it. Oh, a rosary knot. And a girl. Grateful. We have to listen to the whispers. 
The whisper saw the sign that there is one of those girls close by. Okay, we can go this way. And there's... Oh, we have some un unexplored stuff in this area. But the part is coming to an end. So let's head over to... Yeah, let's go to this safe. Or it would be better, easier to fall down in the middle. Don't fall into the <laughs> shattered glass this time. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, the double jump is just the best ability in every game. <laughs> it open up, opens up everything and makes movement so much more fun. Alright guys, thanks for watching and please tune in next time when it's called Blasphemous 2 and a Metroidvania-like exploration session. See you then, bye bye.